Alright dudes, it's that time of year again, and that means big comfy sweaters, scarves, boots, tea, and changing leaves! So let's find out why leaves change color, and why they fall. That's so science! Leaves are essentially solar panels of trees. They take light energy and convert it into glucose and sugar, which is the source of the tree's food. The green color you see is from the powerhouse of the leaves, the chloroplasts, that contain a pigment called chlorophyll. Now chlorophyll absorbs all the wavelengths of light except green, which is reflected back. That's why we see green. There are three other pigments you can find in leaves. Carotenoids, anthocyanins, and tannins. Carotenoids absorb purple and blue-green wavelengths of light and reflect back yellow. But we don't see the yellow during the growing season because of the overwhelming amount of chlorophyll. You might have heard of carotenoids in the context of, well, carrots. They protect the eye by absorbing extra light energy that might cause any damage. Yay, carotenoids. They do the same for chloroplasts and leaves. All right, so fall comes and trees prepare for a time with less sunlight and more cold. So they do a little bit of trimming. First, they break down chlorophyll and reabsorb it back into the tree. The other colors come out, the yellows and the orange from the carotenoids. But what about the red color you might see? Red is caused by another pigment, the anthocyanins. This pigment is actually not present during the growing season. It's produced only in the fall. One theory suggests that the red pigment acts as a sunscreen. With the chlorophyll gone, there's not much to protect the tree. Another theory suggests that the red is actually a defense mechanism against bugs. One bug in particular, called aphids, are really attracted to the color yellow. So perhaps the red is a signal to aphids to stay away, don't eat me, stop. Don't touch me there, this is my private square. Don't eat me, aphids. Anthocyanids develop when there's lots of sugar available, when lots of photosynthesis is happening. So sunny fall days with pretty chilly nights. Chilly meaning less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit, but above freezing. These are the conditions that are crucial to having really brilliant colors in the fall. All right, well what about oaks? Oak leaves don't really change, they kind of just get really boring and brown. Ah, but that's actually another pigment, tannins. But fun fact, tannins are actually also responsible for the brown color in tea. Thanks, tannins. All right, so that's the deal with colors, but why do leaves actually fall? Every fall, a chemical message gets sent to every leaf that says it's time to die. A group of abscission cells start to collect where the stem meets the branch. From these abscission cells, two layers start to form, a separation layer and a protection layer. In the separation layer, the cells are short with thin walls. So as the abscission layer grows, this area becomes very weak and a tear starts to form. The protection layer is closer to the tree. A kind of nodule starts to grow. And this protection layer basically cuts off all water and nutrients to the leaf. And this protection layer essentially pushes the leaf further and further and further away from the tree until the separation layer is so brittle it breaks. And it becomes a leaf on the wind. And you can watch how it soars. So the reason why leaves actually fall off is because trees technically go into a kind of hibernation. Since there's not much sun in the winter, they're basically just a waste of resources, so snip snip. But also, if water actually got into the leaves, it would freeze. And that's not good. It'd be like leaf popsicles. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and please leave any comments down below. That would be super duper. What do you guys want to hear about next?